Lake House. Lake House, chat. Lake House. Lake House. Taro Tartar, 89 months. Uh, Brack, 88 months. Also fix the stream title for you, Abrak. Sorry, I'm a little, it was a little distracted. <clears throat> Let's do it. If anyone spoils me, even like a micro fraction ban, lifetime ban. Just so you know. Never played this streaming. We this that's the the pleasure of this chat is that I'm I'm streaming this, playing this for the first time with you live on stream. I don't know what's gonna happen. So don't ruin it for me. Let's go Dodgers. Lake House. Descend into a Federal Bureau of Control research facility and unravel the mys mysteries lurking within. We shall, we shall indeed. Logging in. Load the episode. Warning! How intense are warnings in games? It freaks me out. So happy about the Dodgers. Job's not finished, though. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. 1970, Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but this town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted this up This is again. weird. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a Wait, facility. Wait, why is it doing this? The lake house. Freaking me out. To study the threshold in Cauldron Lake, find better ways to contain the entity inside. This is supposed to be a cutscene. Okay, yeah, this is freaking me out, chat. <laughs> Way to go, Alan Wake. Way to go. Needs a patch. Needs a patch. Patch it up. You always need a patch. I don't care who you are, you always need a patch. <laughs> no matter what. Just dive right in. Let's not startle it. Right in there. Get spooky, chat. Yo, New Alan Wake. This isn't the Bureau's first time. New Alan Wake calls. content! 1976, 8. Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but this town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility, the Lake House, to study the threshold in Cauldron Lake, find better ways to contain the entity inside. Entity. Your tax dollars at work. When we detected a spike in paranatural activity at Cauldron Lake, before I even knew you were on this case saga, the Lake House was my first stop. I was shorthanded, hoped they could spare some help, maybe give us some intel on the situation. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there in Saga, I'd have just kept on driving. Otani's status is encouraging. You might miss a day or two at most, if that. Said motion was good. Agent Estevez. Remember this gate? This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marlons. Remember pushing this button forever, chat? In the in the base game. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. New content. What's up? What is up, Alan Wake? Good to be back. Forget how to play. Forget how to play. Agent Karen Estevez requesting entry. I don't have time for no this. Time for this shit. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. Roger that. Going in. Vibes. Hope everyone's having a good night. I'm having a good night. Dodgers won again. The lake house was run by the research department. <clears throat> research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science, I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. Now, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. Get a button check, huh? I think we're on max difficulty. We should be. We crank it? Crank it up. Crank it. Nightmare mode. Performance, gotta do it. It's the only way. Motion blur, I turn off. This all looks fine. Yeah, it really feels like a JD man. Estevez is an absolute pro. Professional. Heck yeah, Jesse, let's go. This is this is gonna escalate real quickly. Just enjoy the soothing sound of rain before danger while you can. We are so lucky, KB Holmes. I'm glad you said that. Ellen Wake 2, remember at one point was canceled. Do you remember I do? That was back when Kyle used to talk shit on Alan Wake 1. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. Got me in here. <clears throat> Let's check the side paths. You never know what's down here. This reminds me of Wukong for some reason. <laughs> what a haunted house, dude. Look at this. Did he play again? Should we honestly read every... Oh, it just... It, come, they, it gives us as they go. That's nice. They weren't just all dumped in here from the, the previous game and Night Springs. Yep, 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 yep. Just the basics. Just the basics. FBC chat, let's go. Hello? Agent Kieran Estevez, investigations department. No one wants to check the individual carrying a firearm into a restricted government facility? <laughs> no? Hello? 
and welcome to another exciting day here at the Lake House. <laughs> As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont, and this is my wife, Dr. Diana Marmont. And together and we, we are, are the heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this, this facility. facility. We want to thank you all for helping us break new ground in our study of cauldron what a treat. <clears throat> That's right, Jules. But don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety Dimensional protocols. coupling. You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the lake house. So, <laughs> always remember the three <laughs> S's. Safety, we run a tight ship here at the lake house. And censorship. It's a C. It's a C. <laughs> yeah. That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, wonderful joke, Jules. <laughs> we'll see you down there. <laughs> yeah, that seems healthy. Alrighty. Slow and steady, I say, chat. Always. Documents. Give us all the documents. Every single word of every document will be read with gusto. <coughs> Urgent reminder, lake safety protocols. Please remember that the following recreational activities are forbidden in the waters of Cauldron Lake. These restrictions apply to both civilians and FBC employees. Fishing. Redacted. Swimming. Boating. Applies to canoes, kayaks, motorized boats, etc. Using the water for redacted purposes. Water skiing. Redacted in the water. Paddle birding. <clears throat> These activities can, can result in redacted and an estimated redacted percent of cases. If you're unclear about any of the restrictions listed above, please speak with. Security report, local rumors. A recent security operation was performed among the citizens of Bright Falls and Watery. The goal of this operation was to ascertain public knowledge and opinion of the lake house and its operations. Summary. <clears throat> Following information was gained through covert listening and informal questioning. The local public appeared to view the area around the lake house with fear. This is of course the intended reaction as the Bureau has publicly marked the area as dangerous due to volcanic gases. However, there's a specific rumor among the public regarding a government facility in the woods run by mad scientists taking people for experimentation. This rumor seems particularly popular among the local youth and its proximity to the truth is cause for concern. Worst case outcome would be an increase in curiosity or possibly even aggression. It's possible this is even the reason for the lake house's security breach back in. Action be taken. Security personnel will continue to monitor youth chatter. The rumors continue disseminating. A cover story may be required, perhaps even fabricated signage for an American Volcano Commission type institution. Hundred percent effort. Reminds me of Whatchamacallit. <clears throat> the TVA. Hmm. Choose. Fuck. That is oddly disturbing. That's handy. There will be time for Dodger talks during the uh, intermissions, you know, when things escalate. We're just getting started here at the lake house, though. I mean, this, this, t this chat, this one little pe this one little slice right here seems so innocent. This is one of my most coveted, anticipated video games of of years. 
It's Alan Wake 2 content. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. An experiment? That bodes well. Fuck yeah, it does. Oh, this is this. I can't even read that. Marmont. <clears throat> Dr. Marmont's not here. Nobody is? Mm -hmm. I'll have to check downstairs. Replacement key card request form. Please fill out the fields below before delivering the form of to security. A new key card will be issued to you once your request is processed. Jules Marmont, co-head of research, the highest one. I forgot what it's called. My old card went missing. Indicate here if your card was stolen. How would I know if it's stolen or is lost? Why do you not put microchips inside to follow them if you're so concerned with this? I'm the head of research and I expect a new card on my desk by the end of the work day. I'm working on the lower levels. I'll need to head down. All right, little God of War action here, we know. Subject P. <clears throat> Through extensive testing, the subject has been confirmed to possess an intrin intrinsic paranatural ability that manifests exclusively during the act of painting. The paintings feature scenes or events he would have no knowledge of, even sometimes painting an event before it occurs. This effect has been proven multiple times and has an estimated 40 to 100% success rate. Note the lack of precision in this range is due to the team's inability to prove that a painting's content will not be realized at some point in the eventual future. Researchers asked to reiterate their hesitance to publish any concrete statements surrounding the subject and his ability at this time as the nature of the paintings and their paranatural effect have been exceptionally difficult to measure and quantify. The subject is suspected to be a Class II peri-utilitarian so additional testing will be required to confirm this. At this time, his ability is not believed to be a direct threat to himself or others and can be controlled. The nature of his ability is to show current or future events via the art he creates. But the extent of this forecasting cannot be determined by researchers with any high level of precision. Unlike the art created by Alan Wake, there is no evidence the subject's art is directly manipulating reality via the shadow energies. Science fact of the day, dude. Let's go. September 14th, 2023, Thursday. The most famous for acting, Hedy Lamar also invented in her free time. She patented a frequency hopping device for torpedo guidance systems at the age of 38. In bold, dude, 38. Need that. Need that number. Recently played through Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. Not sure if you've played, but how do you recommend? It's on sale. The New Nightmare. Which one is that? I don't know if I've played that one. Alone. That. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. Oldie. Oldie but a goodie. Fucking dope. Love Alone in the Dark. So good. Changing passwords. Hmm. Huh. Security and Technical Support Division. Update to computer password reset policy. Effective September 13th, all computer passwords must be reset daily to address security concerns. We are aware this may be an inconvenient change and lead to difficulty remembering your password. We recommend using a permanent set of digits at the beginning of the password, followed by numbers that change daily. Try using significant personal dates. Do not use birthdays, the current date, phone numbers... Please also remember that for the time being, passwords are not to exceed six digits. Interesting. Interesting. We got a 14 and a 38, but no dates, remember? Ooh. 
school office. A lake house. To my new fellow head of the lake house. Love, Diana. Here we go. Barrows University, on the recommendation of the faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in them, the trustees of Barrows University have conferred on Jules Mar Francois Marmont the degree of Doctor of Applied Science and is entitled to all the rights and privileges pertaining to Rateau. William Devereaux, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Paul Jensen. Federal Bureau of Control Special Service Certificate. This exceptional contribution certificate is awarded to Wills Marmont in grateful recognition of his astounding contributions to the Bureau of Scientific Endeavors. Casper Darling! Casper Darling nod. Love Darling. Darling hype. Let's go. From... Dr. Casper Darling, head of research to a Dr. Jules Marmont. Marmont. Appointment as facility head. The senior leadership of the Federal Bureau of Control has determined to appoint Dr. Jules Marmont as head of research. Facility at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The appointment will be shared with Diana Marmont, effectively upon the facility's completion on July 18th. Zachariah Trenchnod, Bureau Director... Casper, darling. So we have an 18. We have an 18. Teen. 18. What was this? Is there a date here? Oh. We got an 18. Numbers, Mason! <laughs> nice. Nice, Chad. We got an 18 and a, and a 38. Permanent set of digits at, at the beginning. Followed by, oh, 38. What was the other one? It was, it was 38. It was 38 and 18. 38 and 18. I think this could work here. Hold up here. Damn it. What about 18? 38. 14. Come on. Really, dude. Hmm. Maybe it's we maybe it's not our time yet. Maybe it's thirteen. This is a really good puzzle. Because we've got the two, dude. We've got the 38 and the 18. And it says the two at the end change. Set of digits at the beginning. Permanent set. Followed by numbers that change daily. But not dates and shit. Hmm. Come back. See if we can't find any more leads. Or, unless. Unless. From Avi to FPC personnel. Status update oldest house to all staff. On site observation teams report that the oldest house is still under active lockdown. Status of Director Trench, management team, and all other personnel inside the oldest house at the time of the lockdown's initialization remains unknown. Observation teams have detected fluctuations in the field originating from the oldest house as of increasing in strength as it loops through a specific pattern every 
hours. These readings are currently being analyzed by research staff in the Boston office. Any personnel with information pertaining to the signal should contact them immediately. Sincerely, Avi Ava Rah Rah Rahmani, supervisory agent. Let's go. We're looking for numbers, Mason. The numbers, Mason! Yeah, we'll play some Black Ops tomorrow, chat. Doesn't it tomorrow seem like a good Black Ops day? Tomorrow afternoon, chat. We'll bust it out. Don't even trip. Some Black Ops going. Bombard. I love Callisto Protocol, dude. I'm a Callisto Protocol defender. Straight up. People just give up too soon. If you watch all the streams at that time, you know, and then people bandwagon, dude. People pile on, they bandwagon. It's like a couple streamers fucking struggle with it early on. They don't like it. And it's like... Give games the benefit of the doubt, I say. Get, why not give them the benefit of the doubt? It's locked. Like, why would you not want it? Why would you not try your hardest to like a game? Try your damn hardest. Chances are you'll find something good in there. On ground right now. Ain't sure. Access denied. Well, you are not keeping me out. I'll need a key card with clearance. Access denied. Ugh, this key card isn't gonna cut it. Access. Denied. Access denied. So actually, we do need to solve this puzzle, and we're fucking it up. Question is, how are we blowing this? Because this is a good one. We are close. We got a 38 and an 18. The other numbers be though. The numbers, Mason. 38 and 18. July. By 18? You know? Was that 06, 18? July 18th? And then the other one was 38, right? That's not How right. about 38? Oh, it's seven. Whoops, my bad. Nope. There it is. We got it. We got it. Check the mail first. We, we, we're here for all the lore. We want it all. I think we got that one pretty good, chat. Hello. From B. Lopez. Please remember to lock your computer before leaving your station for any amount of time. Changing your password daily does not improve our facility security if you leave your computer open. Thank you, Brian Lopez, IT specialist. Pages request from P. Levine to J. Marmont. Dr. Marmont. Project Arbitus has officially requested... It. Yo, chat, be on the lookout for Control 2. Vibes. Dude, <laughs> straight up. Control 2 Easter eggs. Game 1 yesterday was, like, one of the greatest moments of my entire life. Ever. Straight up. 
Officially requested we return the pages. We aren't using them for any work on Project Romnus, and they are shared research materials, so can I release them back to Arbidus? Sincerely, Dr. Perry Levine. So does next Wednesday work? Go fuck yourself, Jules. Who's that? From Marmont. Annual budget. I apologize for the difficulty my wife is presenting, Harry. I believe she is suggesting that I would take her project's budget. An unfair and preposterous accusation, though I am confident you understand that. I would be happy to meet and discuss the annual budget. It is, is it a... It is, of course, the head of research's job to oversee such work. Maybe Diana is no longer up to the task. It's really Dr. Jules Marmont. I'm too busy to attend meetings. Just use the budget from last year, but make sure to specify that a specific percentage of the research budget is to go toward Project Arbitus so certain individuals won't be tempted to slow down their competition by stealing research. So the, so the FBC is like... What's the word I'm looking for? They're kind of like at odds with each other, it seems like. They're all looking to... They compete with each other, it seems like. Definitely a competition vibe. I went to game one of the NLDS, game one of the NLCS, and game one of the World Series chat, and we won all three games. I went to all three game ones. Go! Go, Dodgers! Job's not finished. Two more. Two more. What's there to be happy about? Is the job finished? Job's not finished. If you haven't seen that chat, look it up. It's Kobe. Just Google it. Job's not finished, Kobe. 15 second clip. Definitely watch it. You definitely should watch it. The context is that the Lakers just went up two games to zero in a best of seven in the NBA Finals. Similar to how the late Dodgers just went up two games to zero. It's, it's the best. It's so good. It's so good. And the Dodgers put that in their clubhouse during the first series versus the Padres. Job's not finished. That quote. Annual budget. Good morning. From Kingston. Kingston's got the cash. Friendly reminder that proposed annual budgets need to be sent out by the end of this month. Every station is being asked to give a thorough breakdown this year in an effort to find areas where spending can be reduced. Should I book a time for us to speak about this and make a plan? All the best. Mary Kingston. I like shutting doors. Was this open? Maybe it was. Cool room. You just feel different when the door's closed, you know? This should get me downstairs. Out of way. Whoa, stretchy arm. <laughs> Boating, safety, and regulations. What you need to know. Yo, duplicates. I really like their boating. The dangers of doodling? Please remember that any unauthorized art can skew the results of ongoing research. The following types of recreational creativity are forbidden. <laughs> doodling. Rhythmic drumming with pencil fingers or other makeshift percussion instrument. <laughs> Stacking office supplies into sculpture-like arrangements. <laughs> Dancing. Humming. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is so good. What a 10. <laughs> that's so good. 
All right, security clearance. Going down. Star here. As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Same. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to push. Oh, Arkham Asylum vibes there. Music. Audio cam. Agent Estevez, what's your status? The purge. Class three weapons are allowed. We have a situation in the lake house. All agents converge on the facility now. Order. Oh, shit. A threshold event had hit the lake house. Now it was the Marmont's problem. Our mission was outside. So intense. Remember we cranked it, chat. We can turn it down any time, though, if it gets too much. If it gets too much. For uh, narrative purposes, we may turn it down. What the fuck was that? I need to get back to the elevator. Dude, what the fuck? We'll stop to read every document in this game. Research order. As the lake house continues to make progress toward its goal, various avenues of research are being pursued. Recently, one such avenue has yielded unexpected results. The research into nursery rhymes, rhymes directed by Dr. And Dr. Marmont, led by Dr. Campbell, as an art form has shown viability in its ability to connect with the cauldron lake threshold. As a result, as a result the nursery rhyme Rhyme findings will now be carried forward by the co-heads of research and incorporated into ongoing research across the lake house, effective immediately. Research teams will be briefed on how to util utilize the effective elements of the nursery rhymes into their own work. Dr. Campbell and his team are being reassigned. They will continue to develop their work on nursery rhymes outside the lake house. Any exposure risks related to performing confidential work outside the facility's premises have been acknowledged and accepted by the co-heads of research. Signed, the Marmots. Threshold linking experiment progress report, March 10th, 2023. The work to create a stable link between our reality and that of the redacted continues. Progress is good with all teams reporting high confidence that a successful connection will soon be possible. Recent effort efforts in utilizing the paintings produced by subject P to adjust reality in such a way that achieves our goals were unsuccessful. However, this result allowed us to discard that avenue of research and focus solely on a much more viable one. Our new hypothesis states that the threshold's energies, and thus its reality-altering effect, are drawn into pieces of art that contain significant level of emotion. This is supported by a clear trend in the data we have data, 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 we have gathered over the years. If we can identify and quantify the emotion of an art piece, our work will speed up considerably. Work has already proceeded with an immediate focus on developing devices capable of measuring the level of emotion in any given piece of art. For now, our research will continue to focus solely on the art produced by Subject P. While no pieces of his have yielded successful, I think that's the first call out of who it is, his, but that's, I think that's all we know so far, have yielded successful results outside of their assistance in discovering the redacted pages his proven status as a peri-utilitarian makes his work the most suitable research material. I'm nervous. 
This is tense as hell right now. Yo, I wish I could lift this up, freaking Jesse Faden style. Yo, these shelters, remember these? Sick. Six slot. <gasps> Darling, Dr. Darling, Doctor Darling. What say you, darling? What say you, darling? Okay, okay. Priority one, get the lights on. Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, not smart. This is tense, dude. This is fucking tense. Some evil with intention right here. That's the highest compliment I can give. Receiver. Plugging a core in should get the lights on. For a power core. It's not going to be easy. Not a regulation FBC weapon. What gun are you talking about? Jules's keycard could be useful. Unfortunately, Jules's keycard went missing last night. Huge shame. On a totally unrelated note, I've a now have a level three clearance card in my office, plus a lot of black rock. Been grinding the black rock down to a powder and stashing around in case any gets confiscated. Confiscated. Next steps. Weapon tests using black rock powder. If successful, maybe send schematics to offsite teams could lead to a transfer out of this shithole. Need to think of more applications for black rock now that I have some. There was a researcher at the Ohio at O at the OH who had tons of ideas like this. Wish I could remember their name. You can make me carry this? To make these things lighter. You're gonna make me carry this right now? The way I saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news. I just had to keep going down. Bad news? The elevator liked to disappear. Be 
idea. At least the elevator's back. That did, chat. Attention, missing black rock. Attention, all staff. There's a significant amount of black rock missing from sub level five. I expect there's a misunderstanding, and someone has taken it to another floor by mistake. If you did this, respond to this message, and we will fix the problem. Black rock is a precious material. We only have so much much of it now, with the oldest house being closed. Perry, do not release any of those pages. Tell Diana and those fools on Project Arbitus that we misplaced them. An unfortunate filing accident. Tell them we are confident the pages will resurface in two or three weeks, but we are too busy making progress to look for them right now. Be sure you say that we are making progress, just as I wrote it above. Sensitive reminder. A gentle reminder that nut allergies are a serious health issue, and making light of them is not appropriate workplace behavior for any of Anyone of any seniority level, bringing nuts to the office is a health risk and should be avoided for everyone's safety. Harry Kingston. Pie day. Hello. To celebrate the arrival of fall, I have brought a variety of seasonal pies from that local dinery you all seem to love so much. Shout out. The members of Project Ramos can come enjoy them in the lobby near my office. All of, the, all of their staff should visit the other Dr. Marmont's office to see if she brought pie. Also, despite the ridiculousness of... The ridiculous dramatics of last year, I purchased the delicious pecan-filled pies. Happy fall. Who's out? Uh, you never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but you can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, 
then get to work. Find the source, collapse the threshold. Yeah. Let's go, Estevez. Here. Please hold. Please hold. Understand me. I'm an agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. I can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. Do you understand? Well, I'll be damned. So, what kind of entity are you? You can speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe? Okay, I can work with that. I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? What does that mean? Paint no brush a self portrait! Okay, hey, hey, calm down! Fiery desires and hands and bones! You need to cease all hostility right now! Ah! Thing is really pissed off. Good news. I didn't try to kill me. Hey, baby steps. <laughs> Incredible. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it together. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Angry living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. But something different was happening at the lake house, and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday. <laughs> Basics. Sub level. Page development. Sometimes DLC is just like so fucking good. I love DLC. I always try to stay current with DLC for games I love because they can just like take more risks. They can be a little weird. They can tell a nice little focused story. And the focus doesn't even just go for the story. It goes for the gameplay as well, you know? Just keep it tight. He I. of us.
this music's ominous as fuck. Refinement process, out, outputting calibration. The autom automated typing device will produce writing mimicking that of Alan Wake, known peri-utilitarian with the goal of affecting reality with the same consistency as Mr. Wake's writing. To reach this level of authenticity, each page produced by the ATDs must be evaluated and graded based on its similarity to Wake's original style. The pages will be graded using the following criteria. Comprehensibility, number one. This is the most basic of criteria. The page must use language and develop stories in an understandable, organic way. Style. The page must accurately mimic the typical style of Wake's writing using pages in the lake's house possession as reference. Tone. The page was ag yeah, bl AI commentary. <laughs> the page was accurate. And like the budgets earlier too, I was wondering, it's like, did Remedy have like budget allocation <laughs> things? <laughs> tone, the page must accurately mimic the typical tone of Wake's writing using pages in the lake house's possession as reference. Content. The page must accurately mimic the typical content of Wake's writing. Once pages are grading, they will be fed into the algorithm. <laughs> As preferred reference material, thus continuously refining the writing produced by the ATDs until they can produce near identical stories to Alan Wake. Once that is achieved, we will provide instructions to the ATD on what to write, effectively gaining control of Wake's ability to link with the shadow's power. Controls me. Your NPC's being sketchy, dude. Rudolf Lane stood back from the canvas. He didn't recognize the piece. Did he paint this? His mind was foggy, unfocused. He knew the Marmonds were putting something in his food. A man in a white coat came to steer Lane back to his cell. He did not resist. He was too tired. He lay on the bed, but the stench in his cell wouldn't let him sleep. An acid stink, the turpentine, the paint, it was all over him. Years of it, a thousand paintings, a thousand more to come. A putrid weight he could never wash away. Cold hate simmered below the mist clogging his thoughts. Hatred for the paint. Hatred for the brushes. For the Marmots. For himself. So I'm guessing the AI is writing this. Words per sentence, yeah. This has gotta be. Rudolph Lane stood back. There it is, yeah, yes. Yeah. Easy. Diana and Jules Marmont had once been a team. Rising stars in the Bureau, both talented in their own way. Diana innovated and Jules got funding from the bureaucrats. Cooperation led to respect. Connection. Then after a decade of hard work, the happy couple were promoted. Co-heads of research. Their first years at the lake house were good. Challenging, but not insurmountable. Not for them. Gradually, thoughts fell into their heads like drops of dark water. Why does she get all the credit? Why does he get any credit? With that, a crack formed in the lake house. The Marmonts and their work became arrogant, erratic. The crack widened and the water seeped in. Oh, yeah. Wake. Wake. Organizational update. Moving forward, research at the lake house will be divided into two distinct projects. Project X, codenamed Arbitus, will focus on studying the writing of Blank with Diana Marmont serving as project director. Project C, codenamed Romnus, will focus on studying Redacted and his work with Dr. Jules Marmont serving as project director. Staff will soon be notified regarding their project assignment and any required desk changes. Your patience is requested during this reorganization. This is a confidential facility matter and is not to be discussed with external agents or teams. 
September 12, 2023. Notes regarding a page of an Alan Wake manuscript I found in the archives. I checked the records, and this page is not in our inventory. I believe it manifested inside the Wake House directory. I won't be filing this page. It'll just send Jules into a panic. The page is written in Wake's usual style, so I can't say for certain if it's being literal or figurative when it calls us monsters. But what's interesting is that the page indicates that a painting succeeded in linking Cauldron Lake's threshold with our facility. While there has always been a clearly superior avenue of research, but I never considered that the writing itself would dictate a different art form as a catalyst for our success. I cannot accept that. I can't allow Jules to stumble his way into success. Not after the years of work I put into this research. I heard yesterday that two writers are visiting Bright Falls. I will beat Jules to the finish. Music's glitch, yeah. I think the main game did that too. If I recall. Super intense. In the lake house. Gotta save it. The marmots and then we'll reload. the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became <coughs> trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. There was a crack in the lake house. The marmots had left the lake in. Yeah, this music's the freaking me the fuck out. It became trapped, stagnant. Save right there. Back. So intense, dude. Settle down, Alan Wake. Relax. Freaking relax, dude. <laughs> My Hans Zimmer up in here. Same, I miss it. It was awesome. The lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped. Booker, stagnant. born in New York. Project like Arbitus, born in New York, currently resides in New York. Controlled here. The art Very to Timothy Broker. Just content for the Booker. experiment. No known children. No para criminal affiliations located in Bright Falls. Writer of plays. Confirmed artist. There was a crack Background in investigation the performed in a very short amount of the time per instruction. As a result, the spontaneous for But the water rented. could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, Lana went bad. The truth was controlled author. here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. <laughs> Author of three commercially successful true crime books. Typewriters. Oh, please don't let this be what I think it is. As you know by now, typewriters and Cauldron Lake do not mix. And a room full of them all clacking away. 100% bad news. So fucking awesome, dude. Give me a break. Kind of interest. Whoa. 
do not copy Wake manuscript pages. The relevant team will continue exploring. Uh, most interesting, the precise random model of typewriters used by Alan Wake. The intent to use this particular brand for redacted in the ATDs continues to be unsuccessful. The relevant team will continue to explore alternative sources of information. The ATDs will continue to be operated with the available typewriters until Wake's preferred brand is known. Theoretically, re replicating Alan Wake's style of writing via the same brand of typewriter used by the author should yield optimal resul results. The project director has indicated that a similar investigation should be launched into the brand and type of ink used in Wake's typewriter. Interesting. Just trying to replicate that shit. It's so wild, dude. The FBC just trying to copy Wake's powers, man. So awesome. Shit rules. Black Rock. Research notes. Content of Wake Manuscript. We have begun to find pages from a manuscript very likely written by Alan Wake, peri-utilitarian and suspect in past cases involving the Cauldron Lake AWE. Though I do not like to bring myself or, or, or my biases into my work, I must do so here to address the matter being examined. As reference for any future readers, I am Dr. Diana Marmont, co-head of research at the Lake House facility. The page we recently found summarizes my life with Jules Marmont, husband and co-researcher. It has turned us into characters for its story, making generalizations and assumptions that I must attempt to evaluate without emotion or prejudice. The accuracy of the writing is intriguing. The reports are passed in the Bureau, but also details inner thoughts that an outside recorder would have no way of knowing. Jules and I have an indeed been having more and more interpersonal conflict this past year. This raises many questions. How does Wake, wherever he is writing this from, get his information? Or was the page itself determ determining these emotions and events? I cannot believe that the scope of Wake's ability goes so far as to have dictated my entire career at the FBC. And if it did, would it matter? Even if a person knew their life was being driven by an external force, would it change their nature, their behavior, their personality? My disagreements with Jules are not sudden shifts in personality, but rather a growing resentment. I firmly believe that, though I have no evidence to prove it, which brings me to a new research quarry for our team. What methodology can one use to prove that their actions, their mind, their love or animosity are theirs to control? Classic question. March 7th, 2018. Fate. Do you believe in fate? Founder of the Cauldron Lake Lodge. No fable in me. with artists in an attempt to control the power of the shadow. I've gone through his notes, which were confiscated by the Bureau after his arrest in 2010. Overall, Hartman's work. Hartman. Complete disregard for proper scientific method. But he was bold enough to try something we haven't. Our procedural writing machines are promising, but we could understand the effects of Cauldron Lake's threshold much better by observing live artists in action. Thanks to Hartman, we even have a list of prospects. Next step is to send Dr. Darling a request to bring some into the lake house for analysis. Hartman nod. Get that nod, dude. Get that nod. Everything's tying together. Oh. 
not contaminate the lake house with unrelated art. Say no to extra mm. firepower. Mm. Good corpse. Ten out of ten corpse. Bone and sinew. Real good corpses. Back where I started. Spatial recurrence. Usually observes the law of three. Law of three. I love it, dude, because she's FPC. She knows what the hell's up. Estevez. Whoops. Compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance. Cause and effect hopelessly tangled. Arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed, the feedback loop doubled and redoubled out of control. The pressure kept building, looking for release. <sighs> Release me. This contrived overlap rebounded on itself. Well, we all know what this Compressing, means, Compressing, Chad. compounding, reflecting, and refracting. I... An urban I... legend and a murder in constant imbalance. Save it up. Nightmare mode chat. I forgot how to play. It's probably probably a bad idea. <laughs> R1, L1, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. R1. Okay. What? Fuck. game. That charging through, dude. This contrived overlap rebounded on the shadow is here. Back to the shadow.
Holy shit, look at his face. We can hang. We can hang on the nightmare. Base game was chill. Ish. There's just usually like tough parts, you know. There'll be sections that are just like, oh, this is this is tricky, you know. Die here a few times. No. We need all the shit, dude. We need all the ammo. Just unloading with the pistol in this game feels so fun. Bop, 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 bop. So sick. Come on, come on. Yeah, nice. That away, that away. Nice, nice. We want all the supplies. We will be Henry David Thoreau. I would say I play pretty much the same with you, chat, when I stream for you. I am like... 15% slower when I don't stream. Loop three. Should be the last a little one. quicker just for the pace of the stream, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. The elder's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us. But about what? Weak. What does it mean? Wake. Page scared Jules away from the work on Wake's writing. A coward can't stand risk. Science is risk. For me, this is proof that we are going in the right direction. I just need Rudolph Lane's paintings Rudolph Lane. to lead to more pages so that hopefully one day we can understand. Y'all are nuts. FBC can shove it. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us. But about what? I mean, what does it mean? This page is scared you. Yes. We would like more shotgun shells. Fresh brew. Give me a moment, all right? Give me a minute. For sake. Shout out. Shout out to Metro. Shout out. This depresses me. Right here. Play this game if you haven't, chat. Get it on sale. Gotta do. Do what needs to be done.
see in a minute. How we feeling, everybody? How we feeling? How we feeling? How we doing? Because the Dodgers almost buckled for sure, but they did not. Just like in the first game, like a win is a win, a loss is a loss. You know what I mean? Whether you win by an inch or a mile, winning's winning. Vin Diesel, Dominic Toretto. You know, that's why I was so scared about today because it's like, yo, the Dodgers hit that. The Dodgers hit that uh, grand slam, you know. But if the Yankees came back and won today, it's like, okay, now you, now you guys have the advantage because it's you split at our stadium. It's crazy, dude. Baseball is a crazy game. Almost crazy. It was the best. I was quiet for not quiet. That's the wrong word. I wasn't like, yeah, like nonstop obviously cheering a lot I actually got mad at one point because I thought Dodgers were like really quiet at one moment come on Dodgers like I did my part dude I cheered on our section I would get chants going all three games all three games it would be like pretty quiet and I'd, I would start a chant let's go Dodgers you know everyone starts doing it it's so fun they just need that they just need they just need someone to get everybody going. I I, I got to go to more games. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm done. I did my part, chat. I did my part. Up to them now. Uh but when when they hit that home run, I I it was insane. Dude, I was screaming so hard. I had like a three-way hug with my mom and dad. We were just like jumping up and down, me and my mom and dad, dude. Just like, everyone around us, dude. I was like shaking complete strangers. Like, holy fucking shit. Everyone was just like, what? Like you lock eyes with people. You're just like, dude. It was insane. That's what it is. That's why baseball is the best. Cause like for that moment, it's like, think about it, you know, like millions of Dodger fans, but like even just in that stadium, it's like 50 plus thousand people. You interview those 50,000 people, every single person is different, but we are all the same. Like they're all different. Everyone has their own stuff, own beliefs and motivations and lives and you know, problems and happinesses and everyone. But just for that bit, you know, for this thing, we want the Dodgers to win the World Series collectively. You know, it, it bonds us in like such a cool way. That's why I love sports. It's about believing in, believing something bigger than yourself. It's about believing the bigger picture, you know. And it's like, I try to explain that to like non-sports fans sometimes. They kind of laugh, you know, and it's like, no, nah, it's like, how can you not be just so romantic about this shit? Just so epic. Something that brings us together like that. Yeah, it's silly. It's sports, but also not. It's so like human and basic. You know, they all, that's, a, there's a reason they all look like kids out there. You know, like when you see when the baseball players do well, they look like children, dude. They're just like jumping up and down. I'm like, <laughs> so good. It's so good. I love it. Job's not finished. I was not finished yet. I will be back in one moment. I just need a second.
EO. Pirates fans, Darcy, nice. Hey, it's fun having a, it, at least, it, like, the good thing about liking the Pirates. I mean, always revere home team first up, but like when the Pirates eventually win it, it'll be the most epic thing of all time. <sighs> you know? Straight up. When the Pirates eventually win it, dude, love Russell Martin. He was a Dodger, you know? That's sick. Love Russell Martin. Love that. I was just talking about Russell Martin recently. Funny. All right, chat. Third time through here. Fuck. Another round of this? I can't handle this right now. That's awesome, your favorite player of all time, that's it. What is This is crazy awesome, dude. This is so good. Expect nothing less from Remedy. Yo, shout out to SMS so far. Like, cool in the first game, obviously. Like, cool character. But, like, really coming into her own here. Her element. Professional. FBC agent. I'm getting very strong Evil Within vibes for this, for sure. For sure. Do we bring it back? What end, though? set this here to see what's what collect myself but why we would swap those Uh, we're playing on performance. That's how I rock it.
performance soldier. Yeah, it was okay. I finished it. It was alright. to you did the people here do this to you alan wake's writing is being studied here do you know anything about him names don't matter a thousand more to come they say clear communication is the key to any relationship. You and I have some work to do there. You said Marmonts before. Do they do this? Where are they now? Misery! Hate! Tell me where they are! It's so intense. It's fixated on the Marmonts. What did they do? It absolutely is the perfect time right now, chat. Over 26, almost 27. Happy Halloween, everybody. My stupid light in the, I have a pumpkin back there, you see? Stupid lights busted, otherwise I'd have it going. Not bossy, but out of batteries. Gotta get, the, gotta get those like little ones, little round ones. Access, Access denied. denied. <sighs> no access back to the lobby. Great. Only one way to go. Retrace our steps. A threshold no, this is, is the, the fake connection this between a, a foreign reality and our own. Now, they all have their own rules, strange as they are, but the further down I went, the more chaotic this one got. Clearly, this was the Cauldron Lake threshold, but something was wrong. Well, more wrong than usual. What up, Japanese dude? Yeah, I'm gonna cover my pumpkin probably like tomorrow, the next day. One. Probably tomorrow. I think it's like pumpkin carving time tomorrow. I think I'll do that. Hmm, did I miss anything, chat? There's only one way to go, I guess. Just back. Oh, we didn't miss anything back there. Feels like it, though. Maybe we should go to two. First off, a huge thank you. Darling. To here. Uh, the lake has Darling. amazing strides in researching the AWE here at Cauldron Lake. Great work, team. I wanted to come in person, so check in on the latest work. I, I, I won't get the way. It's, it's not our view, so no reason to be scared. Did you hear that, Dr. Smarmont? While I'm here, I, I, I want to focus on the relationship between the Shadow and the AWE site below the lake. The theory that the Shadow even originates from the dimension this threshold is tapping into is compelling. Eventually, I want to understand how this dimension manages to convert subjective elements like art into objective reality. What are the constraints of this Ooh. phenomenon? Can I say, no. create altered <laughs> items or even objects of power simply by manifesting this chat. them via a piece of art? And these are the things we need to know to accurately classify the shadow. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, who came up with that? Shadow. So, any and all persons are welcome. Uh, anything testing art's effect on reality by using the shadow's energy is preferred. Uh, to find answers, we'll, we'll, we'll first need uh, a, 
a lot of data. No wrong answers. And when I return to the oldest house, I'll take back anything we end up with to run against a classified project called Hedron to build a comparative data set. Oh, I wish, I wish I could tell you more. It's very, very exciting. Non-physical forces in fact. No, no, sorry, I, I really can't do this. Yeah, dude, Hedron. You know what? Maybe some of you can come visit. We'll have to get your clearance, of course, but at that point, maybe that can... <clears throat> you know what? I, 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 I don't want to take the entire day to Please, talking, no. So Continue, darling. Shadow represents a whole... Please. Well, at least we got that for going back to the first floor. Moves the size just to it looks like. Check the map. We haven't really done that. Hmm. We still have points of interest back in three. And two, it looks like. Yeah, let's get out of here. We gotta find the elevator. Oh, the elevator's gone, chat. I will be playing Call of Duty. Probably tomorrow. Oh my god, it scared the fucking shit out of me, dude. Wow, that was a good one. Shivers down my spine. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was a good jump scare. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, you think so, Ninja Kitty? Yes, but like this or Outlast. That was insane. You just like die instantly if it grabs you, dude? What, what, what even was that? What even was that? Get the hell out. We got no coral. Not like that. No, they just popped out earlier. Yeah, but they never grab me like that. That's creep. Maybe if you walk? Sub -level and just like, keep your distance from those walls. Level wide lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Level-wide lockdown, lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Alright, we're on the right path again. That's nice. Dear Fest. Won't open while the floor is on lockdown. Dear Fest hype, dude.
Richard's intents. Such a good jump scare. You can turn him on easy. Darcy, there's many difficulties. So at least there's that. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a story. Yeah, story mode, story mode. Super chill. Assignment. Continue the story from page IDAW2. Match the tone, style, and content. Crack was an emotional one. I'll alert right through their marriage, their foundation, their lake house. Epic. First piece of content produced by the subject is severely disappointing. Booker's writing. Initial review. It is not remotely similar in content to the wake pages we provided as reference. Why is it so focused on my marriage? Why is Jules the protagonist? Why is it set in an actual lakeside cabin? And why is it happening at the end? What the hell is in the sky? Did anyone brief Booker about the concepts he has to write about? The lake house? The shadow? We need him to match wake style exactly. It's not going to work if he has no clue what he's writing about. We need to get this sorted. We need progress now. And why isn't he taking this seriously? When I spoke to him, he thought I was an actor. I want him to understand how serious we are, whatever it takes. Jules sent out a memo asking us to spy on his wife's project. Remember when we just made fun of his stupid project names and science factoids? Simpler times. He really did that? Diana is going to slit his throat if she finds out. Those two are such a hot mess. I got drinks with Perry last night. He told me Jules is withholding wake pages from Diana's team. He told her they went missing. Crazy shit. Paula mentioned... Yeah, we read about that. Paula mentioned you two were thinking about asking for a transfer. You'd really leave me here all alone? We're gonna have weekly gossip calls, promise. Finally! Someone who isn't a painting. Hey, hello! Who are you? <sighs> Sorry, I got a flow going. Can we do this later? Writer. He's a writer! No, we cannot. I'm Agent Kieran Estevez, I'm with the government, and I need your name. <sighs> I'm Ed Brooker. The playwright. Ed Booker. And I'm hitting my stride here, so can you guys stop with all that banging and screaming? It's throwing me off. Where do you think you are right now? In an immersive writing workshop. Well, bad news, it's not a writing workshop. Good news, it's not a writing workshop. Right. It's a government facility studying the power of creativity. That makes way more sense. What are you even doing? What are you writing? Well, after you all abducted me in the woods, uh, I've been working on this manuscript you gave me because you need it for some experiment or something. I, I kind of forget the premise. But, you know, I've had this block lately. And filling in the gaps of this story has really loosened me up. Copying the style is a nice constraint, but I still have lots of room to play. It's a solid, creative exercise. Look around you. How is this a workshop? You have to stay in character. I get that. <laughs> I'm in a theater business, too. And look, the sets 
costumes, all great in that, you know, campy, 70s sci-fi kind of way. But you could dial down the role-playing like 15, 20%, just some professional advice. Sir, whether you are aware of it or not, there is a situation here. I need you to stay in your cell until I can resolve the matter, okay? Uh-huh, got it. Hey, no one's been around with food for a while. I could go for some dinner when you have a second. Oh, and can I get my phone back? I want to call my wife. I don't know how Tammy found you guys, but she killed it. Five stars all around. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. Be a side quest. Retrieval order, dude. Where's Honk? Acquisition team is hereby approved to acquire additional research subjects. For ongoing study related to Project Arbitus at the Lake House facility? Came with a Booker, Edward Booker. Observe the subjects at a distance and only move to acquire if the opportunity arises. Under no circumstances can this operation draw the attention of local law enforcement. Whoa! Legit just kidnapping people, like I said earlier, remember that? There was like the theory in town. They are like, that's too close. Lots of themes wrapped in, in a dark sci-fi wrapper. Must be removed very carefully. I wonder what happened here. Sketch. Some sketch shit happened here. That's. Jules Marmont looked at the painting. He didn't understand it. Saw only random whirls of color. Drug and Lane made him more compliant, but his work had turned abstract. Jules needed more art his team could parse, could test, trial and error. These abstract explosions of color complicated the data. His grip tightened around the letter data. opener in his hand. The piece of art he needed was hidden inside Lane. If Jules could simply cut the painter open and pull the painting out of him, he would. The overhead lights flickered. Jules would make Lane cooperate. No more drugs. Less carrot, more stick. Jules had to go faster. He wouldn't lose to Diana. Nothing else mattered. Rifles. I can't paint anymore. Rudolph Lane. I know you want me to paint, but I can't. I'm empty. Rudolph, no. You love to paint. Rudolph Lane, chat. Shown a decline. This is just a classic. Probably in painting. Slump. No. No. I. He's I disinterested in his work. It's just taking from me now. When can I leave? You said you'd let me leave. Ah, uh, Rudolph, but you volunteered to come, remember? Getting Arkham vibes with this. I'm helping you. Like Dr. Hartman did. Hartman nod. Perhaps. You need to see our doctor. As of yesterday, right. subject refuses no. to touch supplies. No, that's halted all research. I am feeling better. Much better. I, I will paint. Suggested ah, a high dose of blank be introduced to, to the subject's dog. food I to cure his you blank. Will come back to your old self. Just trying to control him. 
He's not having it anymore. And it's out now. Wait, where was that? Right here. Ah, ah. Shaded. This guy's pissed. Hope that glass is thick. Pissed. Yo. Oh my god. Good one. Super good jump scares. But a lot of the FB, like the FBD, FBC is sketch as hell, but they're also like kind of getting played some parts. Like it feels like the, the whole. painting thing like manipulated them you know or the writing like the wake pages they're just trying to do they're trying to control shit and what their ultimate motivation is remains to be seen chat trying to weaponize Yo, I hope Capcom's playing this. I bet they dig it. I bet they're like, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Save it up. Dude, Wake. Wake is sketchy. Alan Wake is a sketch person. Desperate man. Alan Wake's desperate. That's why that's why he's sketch, dude. Even when the first game starts off, the opening to Alan Wake is like, yo, dude, I need to write a new book now. I've got block. I need to write something. <laughs> Desperate. Card. It's time. Yep. Long overdue for this. A higher access card. Sorry, but I need this. Level two. Level two. How many paintings did they have this guy make? Tree at night, empty road in a forest. Small white shape in the road could be a page of writing by Alan Wake. Relevant teams have been informed and are searching for this site now. So many paintings. Background is black and gray with dark red streaks along the border. Black void, a deep black void covering the entire canvas with a very small oh, specks of dark or light gray able to be seen on close inspection. Black spirals. Brown shape with horns. Whoa. Damn it. 
Nope. Worth a shot. Dang, where would you even get that? Here? Visceral. <laughs> Gritty. Gritty encounters. Dude, there's a blood splatter here, chat. This is nice. Capcom, t Capcom is going to steal this. Next Resident Evil will have this. <laughs> Probably already done it, I wonder. Made the reservation for our anniversary, which I certainly never forgot, was a week from this Friday. Let's take separate cars from the office. Can't have the bosses see us leaving together now that those hypocrites have banned inter-office relationships. So, nine, two, this Friday. We need a calendar up in here. Just found out what happened to Trisha. Jules fucking find her. I knew it. She was way too vocal on last week's all hands meeting. She had valid concerns. That man is a tyrant. Speaking up about safety is no reason to fire someone. Can you believe this new password policy? What security concerns are they even talking about? We're a fenced off government bunker in the middle of nowhere. I think they're getting paranoid. Anyway, I set the security terminal's new password like the memo suggested. Our anniversary is the base numbers, then Black Void. Yeah, the Marms are losing it. Big surprise. I bet Diana set Jules' background to a big old turd or something. Once again, making their shitty marriage everyone else's problem. The passwords you said didn't work. Black Void is 44, right? From the list of Lane's paintings? I need to get in, or this is going to be a total waste of a Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. 13. 15 is Friday. 22. 9. 22. 44 is right. Yeah, so I guess you're telling me you don't know when our anniversary is. Well, good luck with that. Our special unforgiving mercy plus brown shape with horns. So Wednesday is the 13th. week from Friday. I say 14th or 13th, right? Fuck. Waste of a Wednesday. Waste of a Wednesday. Thirteen. Thirteen. Or Fifteen. A week from this Friday. Me too. I'm twenty two. I'm twenty two. I'm using a permanent set of digits as the beginning. Oh, I get it. That's not oh, right. No way. Really? Hmm.
be 29? Or 29. We'll get it. We'll get it. We love our survival horror puzzles. All right. A week from this Friday, right? A week from this Friday, written on the 14th. A week from this Friday. So it is 22. 20. Four. Four, forty-four, forty-four, forty-four. 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 Gettable. How is it not nine twenty two forty four though? Other way around. It's gotta be the other way around, dude. That's not right. But Chat. I'll, 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 I'll take a little assistance for the stream. A week from this Friday, written on the 14th. Look at that. A week from Friday, dude. 22. Your special day. September, dude. The ninth month. 09. 09. 22. Black Rock, dude. 44. Brown shape with horns. 44. Wait, no! Wait. Brown shape with horns, dude. Where the hell did we read that? Was that back here? Dude, brown shape with horns. Where did I read that, chat? Shape with horns. I know that was somewhere. Was it here? Yes, yes, yes. Sick. Already forgot it. Already forgot it. Already forgot. Already forgot. Already forgot. 25, 25, 25. Ten out of ten, ten. There. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, 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 ten. Great puzzles. Great puzzles. Without HQ, more situations like this are gonna fall through the cracks. Safety concerns. I'm glad someone here stood up to him. Hello, Mr. Kingston. I'm writing because I have serious concerns about safety protocols being disregarded across the facility. I've collected a list of violations that I've personally observed. I can send this to you. My opinion on the matter is that both Dr. and Dr. Marmont are driving this facility staff into progressively more reckless behavior. Hello, Miss Sard. Thank you for sharing your opinion. All facility operations or safety measures are under the purview of the heads of research. If you have a complaint, please file it directly to them or contact the Bureau's acting management team in Dallas. Mr. Kingston, I thought we reported to the acting management team in Kansas. I've reached out to them about this issue multiple times and gotten no response. Even if they did respond, we all know they don't have the staff 
to investigate every internal issue after the oldest house went into lockdown. I believe the Marmonts are knowingly using this state of chaos to their advantage. Our treatment of research subjects is in clear violation of the Ash Act. These are punishable offenses. If you do not open an internal investigation, then I will resign. Lockdown lifted. You are now safe to resume working. Escobar's command. Facility. Sub-level one. You copy? No. Turn back. Area is extremely hostile. Fuck you, idiots. They're on floor one. I'll need help. Floor one. That did not work out. That did not work out like planned. But then our jacket has like paint. Paint jacket. Dude, is this a sprint? Is this like a sprint situation? No, we got this. We got this. Check this out. 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 This one's for you, Damiani. This one's for Damiani. Yeah, didn't even need it. Didn't even need that. Elevator, though, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Yo, they can't even get over here. Look at this. This one's for you, Damiani. We got him. For Damiani. Damiani's pleased right now. Back. Run on back to your crew. Oh. Dude, we are cheesing. So we're gonna run out of ammo here. We don't even have enough for this. Run the bullets. What are we gonna do?
This is a little intense. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to like run through either, right? Is this like a stand and fight situation? Like, do we need to clear? Is my question. We gotta find any ammo for it. This is a recon run, by the way. There's not even enough ammo to cheese. Like, I truly don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I don't know. Okay, all right. Change the approach, change the approach. I still just don't know if it's, uh, wired here. You know what I mean? Why are you taking four shotguns?
Buy more supplies. Job's not finished. Yeah, I wish we had a, a melee weapon. <laughs> just, just, just give me a lead pipe. Do it for Birkin. I'm not going anywhere near that wall. Stop throwing axes through walls. So awesome. So awesome. It's so awesome. My favorite shit. It's love when a game pushes back a little, you know? Like, that was the pushback. That's fun. I love that. You know? There's been so much reading and exploration, exploration and, like, just cruising through, like, there's been like really scary sneaky parts and it's like, all right, give me like a, give me a sick, just 
big combat encounter. Bunch of enemies running at you, like... Sick. So fun. Batteries, nice. Bullets. Dude, health supplies are so rare. We haven't gotten any. We are like, we had, we had two, and I think we started with one. Threshold activity. Readings collected over the last 48 hours show a rising increase in activity stemming from the Cauldron Lake threshold, likely indicating an imminent AWE scenario. The highest recorded reading exceeded the safety limit, necessitating a general alert and requesting assistance from the assigned AWE response team. However, no alert or contact with external teams has been made, per the recent amends to this procedure. As specified, the monitoring team will take no action until sign-off from either Dr. Marmot or Dr. Marmot has been received. Considering the rate of escalation that recent data indicates, the monitoring team strongly recommends that the AWE response team be contacted immediately. We got AWE. coming in. Bathroom. Good bathroom. Four flares is nice. Max Payne 1 and 2 is a hybrid combo, chat. Never forget it. Don't forget it. The remake. I mean, 1 and 2. So the rumor goes. Wait, is our buddy around? our writer friend. That guy was so jolly. Yeah. Still just writing, dude. We had a huge shootout. One minute ago, you didn't hear anything? <laughs> you didn't hear anything, bro? Which I'm convinced we could have run through that part. Yeah, dude, it was right here. Unless this door opened after the encounter. Which I hope it did. <laughs> it's all right. It was still fun as hell. Oh my god. Talk to your jump scares, man. <laughs> They're getting me. <laughs> yeah, but then you miss sick lore if you run through. Rudolph Lane. In 2010, Lane was inadvertently involved in AWE 35 while residing at the Cauldron Lake Lodge where he lived under the care of Dr. Hartman. Lane was seriously injured during the AWE. He received medical care in Seattle for two months, during which time he was questioned and cleared by FBC staff. After the Cauldron Lake Lodge was seized and closed by the FBC, Lane moved to Watery, Washington, where he currently resides. Recent surveillance confirms he has no known personal relationships or affiliation with paranatural groups. As requested, the observation team has confirmed that Lane continues to paint as of the date of this. 
teleport. Yeah, it's so cool how they've done this. You know, they've really combined Alan Wake and Control, you know? Remember the Control DLC, the AWE one? It's like Alan Wake vibes. It's fucking sick. Even though that DLC was kind of a... My team was on sub-level one. I knew they were in danger. Let's just go immediately. The Marmonts turned innocent people into tools using the FBC's authority. They thought they were untouchable out here, hidden away in the woods. No. Actions have consequences. And I'm the consequences. Exactly. I don't remember where it is. What up, Blue Bro? Hope everyone's having a good night or day, wherever you may be. Scientific. I mean, I came up with that. Shadow. Comes to my lab and treats me like some kind of assistant. A putain d'assistant. Moi. I run the lake house. This is my facility. Mine. He cannot just walk in here for one week, make some speeches, and then fly back to New York. Uh, it's just a crétin, prétentieux. The jackass thinks he's a fucking rock star! And he made fun of the name. <laughs> oh, the shadow. The shadow is good. It's evocative. <laughs> the shadow is good. It's evocative. Janus, spoiled little child. And I would make it so everyone can see this. I, I would make it so no one <laughs> Even remembers his name. <laughs> to see, to see his imbecile, la, huh? They all think I am a, a pencil pusher. They think I do not have the mind for such work. Et bien, ils verront. Ils verront. I will take what they think is possible. Gotta fight off, uh, gotta fight off those pages. Pages are making you trip. Grab, dude. Don't get grabbed by the ghoulies. Don't get fucking grabbed by the ghoulies. Dude, we can make it. We can make it. Oh, these panels are blocking the door. Oh, shit. Get me in here. 
Can't get me in here. Firing mechanism ring had thrown the test projectiles a good distance. It turned out pretty nicely. The fittings between the grenade launcher and custom components are a bit loose. No proper lathe, he lathe here, but at least it works. Now I need some actual black rock for the tests. I know there's some on sub level 5, but the acting inventory supervisor doesn't get access to that floor. We learned about that guy hoarding it. Allergy. I have no doubt someone with a nut allergy like yourself will, pre will prefer to work alone in the inventory booth. Dude, I wonder if someone at Remedy has a nut allergy and they just want to, like, get this out. Dude, get it into the game. Someone with a nut allergy at Remedy was hurt. We gotta listen to Wake every time. Trapped, stagnant. Pay your respects. Went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. The contrived overlap rebounded on itself, compressing, compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance, cause and effect hopelessly entangled. Arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed. The feedback loop doubled and redoubled, out of control. The pressure kept building, looking for a release. So intense. Wake, dude, you're freaking me out, man. Unidentified hostile entities. I honestly don't know where I'm going. I get to the elevator.
know. We gotta get Gabby on Alan Wake. I keep telling her. She's like, it's too intense. I'm like, alright. Fuck, it's the other way. into a hostile, paranatural entity. That made everything simpler. No arrest, no paperwork. I could put him down like the monster he was. We're holding a painter here. Rudolf Lane. Does that ring a bell? The shame of a man! I think you are... or were... Rudolf Lane. Himself! A self-portrait! Make them see! Look, I might be able to help you. But I need information, cooperation. No push! Just insane! Rudolph Lane was dying. Both murderer and victim. Red hues ran down his hands. Was it scarlet? Or cadmium? <laughs> Too vivid to be real. <laughs> Names don't matter, he decided. Color was pure. Inspiring. For the first time in years, he wanted to paint. A self-portrait. To say goodbye. No. To make them remember. To make them see what they did, he slapped his hands against the wall to steady himself. He began from there. No brush, just himself. The strokes were crude, violent. The pain, misery, and hate he'd endured there. The fire in his eyes and hands and bones all spread into the shape of a man. It was quick. Natural. Like a heart attack. He slumped down to the floor, smiling at the anger he left smeared across the wall. It's such a 10, dude. Dude, Alan Wake just rambling on. <laughs> Top 10 things in video games, dude. Alan Wake's ramblings. We're still going to four, bro. Sub level four. E? So cool. Slam that door open. Leon S. Kennedy style. Boom. Boom.
crazy there's like no health pickups. Should have gone to five immediately. It's a little intense right now, huh? No. Oh my god! Jeez. So intense. Yeah, we're gonna go to five first. made our choice. I love the elevator disappearing, by the way. <laughs> One of my favorite things. All right, archives. Duke's archives. Come on. You really go for just like Just one. It'd be friendly. A friendly one. Feels spooky here. The archives. Some freaky shit, man. Diana sat in her office. Wakes ramblings. A weak death light kept the darkness around her at bay. The silence of the archive suited her. She scowled at a series of graphs when the room turned red. Alarms blared. Breach detected. Then the walls of the archives rumbled. A tremor in the bones of the facility. One by one, the red lights went dark as a wave of nothing poured in from all sides. Diana stood, but there was nowhere to run. The sheer depth of the darkness terrified her. She realized they had done this. Her and Jules, their ambition, their hatred. Her desk lamp flickered. In the brief moment before it all went dark, she thought of Jules' smile. Wake. down here. God, we got a way to go. Oh, 
Womp. 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 Come on. Come on. That's right, dude. Damn. That one hurt. Copter skates, 83 months, thank you. Research in areas of the threshold, energy detection and measurement have made great st strides, allowing us to work with the investigations department. Exploring the relationship between the shadow and sources of light continues to be difficult without active threshold manifestations to test against. It's only really difficult to develop without an active AWE. He has been testing counter frequency projection in the vicinity of Cauldron Lakes. Lake, with all findings being sent to Dr. Darling. Before Dr. Darling was lost in the lockdown of the oldest house, he tasked the lake house with discovering the nature of the shadow and its ability to convert art into reality. During our diligent research into this phenomena, it has become clear that Darling was not dreaming big enough, which leads us to the new goal of the lake house and its talented staff to create a stable connection between the cauldron lake threshold and our own dimension threshold traversal has only ever been possible inside the oldest house and occasionally during altered world events though this is often an involuntary process the shadows known attraction to art provides us the perfect opportunity to create the world's first controlled bridge between dimensions that can be safely traversed in either direction a lab will be built on sub-level 5 where experimentation related to this linking with the threshold will be performed. This location will take full advantage of our proximity to Cauldron Lake. In this laboratory, we will simultaneously develop machinery that can connect with the AWE site in the lake and use art as the focal point to create the bridge. Precise methods are yet to be determined, though teams will soon be formed to explore processes involving art as a dimensional anchor reality manipulation via art and machine assisted coupling wow that's some good ass lore about bright falls slash cauldron lake The 
lake house was underwater. The Marmont's ambitions had finally been realized. Jules had dangled the painting like a lure and hooked an ocean. Their machines couldn't hold it. A fault in the system. The water rushed in, filled it until it was ready to burst. All their successes and failures had led them here. The work had made them into monsters. But the lake house was still theirs. It always would be. They could feel an outsider trespassing in their labs. I know you're here, they called out to the dark. They hunted floor by floor. They wouldn't let the intruders stop their progress. This was their home, their beloved tomb beneath the waves. Hard work, got them all. Five years ago. Letter from Darling. Diana, I just received a letter from Darling about a request you made to bring in live subjects. What were you thinking? You know that looks? What did he say? Was it approved? No, you refuse. You know protocol doesn't allow this sort of thing. And he says he will be making a trip to the lake house to check in on us soon, like we are children. This is very bad for our reputation, Diana. Please, if you have an idea like this, come to me first. Diana, considering the details on the new page we have found, I believe we need to abandon the research into Alan Wake's writing. We must not endanger our staff. Don't pretend like you are worried about them, Jules. You're just looking out for your own ass. The fact that the pages are detailing future events means they are a correct method. We have to learn how to harness their power and direct, dictate events to meet our goals, not wakes, whatever those may be. The ATDs are producing better and better results. We just need to keep doing the work. No, Diana, I'm looking at the page right now. Constant imbalance, out of control, a crack in the lake house. If we continue with this research, we will lose our facility. Perhaps more than that, what is the point in succeeding if we are dead? I'm ahead of research, and I forbid you from proceeding. You can't forbid anything. You are not going to keep me from this most important work in my life. If you're too much of a coward to keep pushing ahead, then I'll finish what we set out to do here alone. We have plenty of ongoing lines of research. I suggest you pick one and leave Wake's writing to me. You always needed me more than I needed you. Official complaint from Greenberg. Hello, Dr. Marmont. I saved your formal complaint about Jules' behavior. Your claim he is maliciously keeping research material away from your team, but he says that he have sim has simply misplaced it. I understand you are frustrated but I recommend giving his team a week or so to find the pages and return them to your team. If this issue persists at, th at that point, then let's discuss your desire to escalate this issue. Does that sound agreeable? September 13, 2023. Notes regarding the concept of a tortured, tortured artist. artist. A romanticized image of the sensitive artistic temperament, yes. Lord, I'm in here. If Jules hadn't neglected to hold regular psychological exams, then we could have quantified the subject's emotional state creating a sort of distress rating to compare against the art score. I'll make this a sub-goal of my study of Edward Booker. Once we set the variables and establish control reading of his art and mental state, then we can begin inducing negative emotion. Limited food and water, perhaps. Damn. God, they're crazy. An increasingly tight eating space. This is actually what's lost his subject. You need to be careful not to leave any sharp objects in Booker's cell. Definition of art study. To truly comprehend the threshold within Cauldron Lake, we must first understand its attention to art, attraction to art. However, even the definition of art is as varied as the range of crafts that fall under the name. To that end, we must open a track of research dedicated to defining and quantifying art, ultimately rendering the concept into a unit of measurement. 
To begin, let's not try to understand humanity's definition of art, but rather Cauldron Lake's preferences. Past cases of Cauldron Lake's threshold affecting reality have centered on writing, Wake 2010. Cinematography is also suspected, though not directly confirmed, Zane 1970. What about other mediums? We will need to test the viability of painting, poetry, music, photography, sculpting, dance, and so on. Not to mention the myriad of genres and methods within each medium. And what about crafts outside of the most common artistic expressions? Does any act of creation on a high level of expertise merit the title of art? Baking? Woodworking? What about non-physical mediums? Why is music why is music and art and philosophy is not? Does something become art due to its medium, its quality, or perhaps simply through the intent of expression? Or an equation made up of all three? What will be the order of importance? What thresholds must each factor reach for the equation to succeed? Clearly, there is much to determine. We must begin with developing a methodology using a vast range of arts and general creative endeavors, both physical and mental, then find a way to test their potential connection to Cauldron Lake's threshold. Cauldron Lake is an enigma, with many layers to pull away if we are to understand it and ultimately bring it under control. The work will take you. <laughs> yeah. What is art? On the morning of blank, the musician held at the lake house for research purposes was discovered missing from her cell. Security footage of the cell from the night before was damaged. Known professionally, six deep breaths during that time at the lake house that was considered very promising. Efforts to find her were brief. Investigation is ongoing. Ashtray maze. Jam right here. Oh yeah, we forgot to flip the switch back again. That's right. Thank you. Flip the switch. Of course. Yes. Oh. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding them. All those years, he steals credit from my ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. He is actively impeding critical bureau research. I mean, if he can do that, then what is stopping me from going down to that lab? And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or, or misaligning the receivers or both. It's the same thing in principle. <laughs> unhinged, nothing better than an unhinged scientist. Some big experiment Top tomorrow. Tier. I can't find the details this anywhere. Look style. Is Starling. All those Good something about this new direction for the lake house. My ideas and my work, and now he's Threshold scared of being plagiarized. Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. 
Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Suddenly, the exact pages that I need to reference have just vanished. Four he is four. actively impeding critical bureau know. research. Sick. I mean, if he can do that, then what is stopping me from going down to that oh, yeah, lab? All the documents. And I, and I don't know, just inverting the amplifiers or misaligning the, the receivers or switch cord. Oh, no. It's the same thing in principle. Oh, no. Who's going to want to pull it? He booked the lab. Some big experiment tomorrow. I can't find the details anywhere. That bastard is hiding. Quick me. lesson on light switch cords. All those if you years, find one, he steals pull credit it for three my times. ideas and my work, and now he's scared of being plagiarized? Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. Oh, and he's reportedly. The Ocean View Motel is a dimensional intersection. Yes. The doors from the lobby can lead anywhere. Uh -huh. But I didn't end up in the lobby this time, which was definitely unusual. Looks like trench and fade in, right? <laughs> Sick. Panopticon? But the Panopticon is at headquarters. Yeah. I'm outside in a forest. The sun is shining. Birds are calling. I feel dirt beneath my feet. A breeze. Everything smells like green. I'm out here. I'm in a forest. Say hello, bro. Agent Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. Identify yourself. I'm... It's quiet. I was always sure he's always like, identify yourself. Who are you? It's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Huh? 
There's a sign over there for the Panopticon. The Panopticon's only in New York, in HQ. Is this the oldest house? I think that's where I am. So you are inside the oldest house. Is anyone else alive? I can't. Of time. This is an FBC containment unit. Why is the Bureau detaining you? I'm where I belong. Everyone I meet here is either a painting or a paracriminal. Hey, this is important. FBC headquarters went dark four years ago. What exactly happened in there? We were attacked. No, no, not again. Not yet. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, stay with me. Stay with me. What attacked the oldest house? I need to know. Something's changing. Outside. Can you feel it? I can hear it. It's getting worse. You can't stay, can you? Hold on. The phone will I need to know if I can... Tell Jesse I tried. I really did. Them. 100 control too. All those years he steals credit <laughs> yeah, from my ideas and my we wanted work, it. and now he's scared. I said be on the lookout. Oh, that is really fucking rich, Jules. You have to watch that back. Oh, and he's reportedly misplaced the manuscript pages I need for my work. Good audio design. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that definitely frame by frame. <laughs> catch our bearings. How are we? Not even on the map. Yo, cut. The Marmots had opened the door into Cauldron Lake's threshold. It was forced. It was unstable. Shutting the experiment down was the only option. It's the only option. It's the only way to be sure.
ends here. Of course it, it ends this way. Mm -hmm. This is the only way their story was gonna end. One of them killing a other dude. amazing. <laughs> you gotta love it. Alright, we gotta hit some buttons. We gotta do something. We're learning. Remember, I want that pushback. I want that pushback on that final boss shot. That's how we do it. This one's pretty decent. Just a street fight. But it's like, it's just a super powered enemy, you know what I mean?
What was that, Chad? What was that? We just got nuclear bomb, dude. What in the world? Some just mega explosion? We're gonna get it, dude. We're gonna get it. <laughs> We're gonna get it. We're not. We're not turning it down. We refuse. <sighs> Gotta give it a minute. Final boss. <sighs> Final boss. Dude, that one's good. That charge. We're learning the moves. So she's got the charge. She has the double. She has the explosion AOE that that like goes forward a little shockwave. She apparently has some nuclear blast as well that we've learned. She can summon the paint monsters. So far. See, now I'm in my head here. No, we got it. 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 All right, this, this is tough. This is tough. It sucks we're in yellow hell, dude. I wish we just had. We will use this time opportunity, though.
we give ourselves that one time. to the bomb. I don't know how to deal with the bomb. Boulder's wonky, dude. The boulder. I'm I'm super down with the difficulty of this fight here. I really like it. I just think the boulder's a little bullshit. I think the boulder's a little BS, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too soon on that. That's a good one. That's a good one. 
Anybody have boulder tips? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get the boulder. What's the death counter up to? It's gotta be pretty high. We got it. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting better. <laughs> We're getting better at it. Got it. Got it. Ugh. 
and shout out. Dude. I thought she was going to teleport over there and throw more rocks. She came down for the kill. Dude, that was fucking sick. Estevez stood in the forest just outside of Bright Falls. She watched her team detain Alan Wake and Ilmo Casa, stumping them into black SUVs. She realized this was the moment Wake had been writing in the vision she had seen. The story was coming true. She pushed the thought out of her head. It had been a good tip, a way to find Wake. Nothing more. Alan Wake! After the Threshold event collapsed, I was back at Cauldron Lake. But for a moment, I was somewhere else. I saw Alan Wake there. He was writing about me finding him in Bright Falls, in the woods. It was a good tip. I called the surviving members of my team, and I told them to meet me there. You know, these cases, they never get less ambiguous. Easier. 
This one... This, this was tough. Because Protocol says entities like the Taken were monsters. Threats. But the Marmots were monsters way before the Shadow got to them. So at the end of the day... What's the difference? Good. Fantastic. It's exactly what I want out of my DLC for a game. It's exactly what I want. It added huge context for Alan Wake 1 and 2. We wrote so many things. Wrote them for you and me. And there was a little tease for control to in there. Precipice, we are ready to take a leap, but that only comes after. For this was the end. Remix, 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 remix. Remix chat. Remix. Remix, remix, remix. And you can take it or leave it. Hope I don't get us. Yeah, we got fucked on those, Bombard. Sick shit. That looks like a wrap. That looks like a wrap. Till Max Pain Remedy. Oh, we get the uh, we get the fun co-op one. We get the fun co-op control game. Deep press. Deep Ooh. press. Casper, darling. <laughs>
of everything that I've ever known. Deep breaths, slow, gotta take it slow. Cause that's the fastest way that I know. Deep breaths, six deep breaths till the pain subsides. Six deep breaths till I'm fine. fine. Six deep breaths swallow all my pride. Yeah, the next turn remake is gonna be fucking insane. Uh, the voice actor of the original Max Payne passed away semi-recently. It's very sad. It just is the face for it. Yeah, Ryan McCaffrey. Cafferty or McCaffrey? Um, good actor. He's in like live action stuff too. I don't know. I think they confirmed that Max Payne will be separate. But I'm sure they'll have like little, yeah, just like a little Easter egg here or there somewhere. But I think they're keeping it pretty separate. But it's going to be huge. It's going to be so good. And it's like Control 2 comes out and then you you can't help yourself. And you're just like, yo, here's uh, some Max Payne shit. <laughs> Yeah, in Alan Wake 1, when you're in Alan's apartment in that one mission, you see the, like, noir books. The nod. Alex Casey shit. What a gift. What is what a gift. The Remedy Universe, man. It's the most exciting thing in gaming. That was really fun. What a hell of a DLC. Come on. I thought it was sick. Pretty harsh reviews out there, it looks like, huh? A little lacking compared to the main game. It's a DLC first up. What are you talking about? Oh God, chat. Oh, I'm tired. I'm gonna watch Daryl Dixon. Yeah, the reviews seem a little harsh on this, but whatever. Jeez. I thought it was really sick. thought the paint freaks were really cool. It was really well paced. It's classic Remedy. If you go back and you watch my reviews, classic fucking Remedy. Way too many documents. Even though they're all really fun and good, there's gotta be some that you can cut, dude. There's gotta be some that you can cut and others that you can trim and combine, like... There's so much reading, and it is so important, though. It's, ah. Oh, I've been giving them that criticism since, like, the control days. It's too much. I can read all day, too, but it still fucks the pacing up. Like, 
both things can be true. <laughs> I think there's a little too much. But, eh. That is the beauty of it. Other than that, though, as usual, 10 out of 10. Love the story, love the new characters, love the context of the art with Cauldron Lake. And the Marmonts. And the new weapon. I like the boss fight, too. It was sick. Like, I don't think any game should give you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give this criticism to Resident Evil 2. One last thing about the documents. I truly don't think any video game should give you a document mid-fight. For example, in this game, you bust into that one side room when the paint monster is lurking like right around outside. Yeah, let me just stop this. Let me just stop this paint monster stalking me for a moment as I stand here and I read this like two and a half minute document. Mid encounter. Like. It's all right. <laughs> Again, it's just a little small nitpick because. The only reason we bring it up, chat, is because, one, it was my only complaint, and the reviews are, apparently are middling. That's wild. I literally, it's my only complaint. And two, we're chasing perfection with Remedy here. It's the top tier. It's the top of the mountain for me. Alan Wake 2, peak. So, like... I hold it... I hold it a little higher. Hold it high. Hold it to high regard. I'm a little stricter with it. Thank you to everyone who helped us by playing the game. Absolutely. It was my pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. Remedy. Thank you for making it Remedy. I really liked the story of this with AI. How do you, how do you even write an AI story this good, like this quickly? It just, it just feels on point. And just art. I thought that was super interesting. I really like that too with like the threshold. It's like, what does the threshold consider art? That was really interesting. Like what? The F. <laughs> mm, I like the encounters. I like the encounters because they were short and furious. Short and furious. We did. We saw the control two T's with Dylan Faden. Because who goes to floor five before four? You go in order. Who would ever do it? I don't know. Not me. Wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be me. One, two, three, four, five. Wouldn't be me skipping a floor. <laughs> Good show. Thank you, Remedy. Is that it? That's it. That is it, chat.
Cosmetics. Alan Wake. Alan Wake. Classic fit, chat. The classic fit. Classic fit is back. <laughs> classic. All right. Everybody thank Remedy. Everybody take a second to thank Remedy. Thank you, Remedy. Thank you, Remedy. We love and respect and appreciate you. We love you, Remedy. Thank you for making this. Thank you for making Alan wake. And just, just thank you all around. All right, chat, that's it. That is it. That was Alan Wake 2. That's a wrap. That's a bow on that. So uh, it'll be FBC Fire Break the next time we hit up the Remedy Universe and the Max Payne remake coming one day. But we just feasted on Alan Wake 2. That was a feast. There were two really solid DLCs, Night Springs in the Lake House, two Really cool DLCs that kind of mixed it up a little bit and gave you a reason to hop back into this world, which is a pleasure every time. So thanks so much, Remedy, one last time. And we are Easy Allies, everybody. If you like what you saw, help us out here on Twitch or patreon.com slash easy allies. We are supported by pretty much only you. So we love you. And we'll see you later. Maybe we'll get some uh, drops going tomorrow, some Black Ops. Nothing like a Call of Duty on opening weekend. That's always a good time. See you later, chat. Love you. Love and respect.